Congratulations. Lift up your hands. This anointing that is coming to you, receive it. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Hey, take it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Leave him down there. Evening all over the world. My name is Apostle Maslom Lasfujani from Bloemfontein. I'm here at the Charis to meet uh, the men of God in terms of some other st stumbling blocks that I came across in life. The challenges usually that I came across is whether do God called me for, for his work. Uh, I was looking for the confirmation. Although as a servant of God, sometimes when you meet some problem on the way, seeing the ministry is not growing, people are leaving you, you start having some doubt of say, do you really, really this is the place where I have to be as a man of God? Now we have decided with my wife to say, let's look a man of God who can tell me whether I'm called or not. So then I don't have these other problems that I'm accounting in the ministry. Yes, that's why I've decided to come here at the Charis Missionary Church. Yes, I met with the man of God on one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, he tells me everything that I never thought uh, it can be revealed even before me I can uh, 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 explain to him what I'm here for. He started to mention in the experiences of my health that uh, I've been diagnosed by the hypertension and also the problems of the kidney, uh, of which is true because a, a few uh, months ago uh, I was experiencing the pain in my heart uh, and then now it leads to when I go to the doctor and I was diagnosed as a, a hypertension. So even also the, the issue of kidney. So then as you grow older, you will see experiencing this and that uh, when you go to the loo. But by the grace of God, men of God just reveal it to me. And then also the issue of if I'm called or not, men of God just say you have a grace upon your life. You have a, a ministry that you must now follow of the healing and deliverance. So when you go back, God is going to reveal himself in the mighty in your life. Uh, I receive it with wholeheartedly with my heart from the man of God, even before I disclose who am I, why I'm here for. So he just mentioned it to me, of which is uh, true for, 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 for my life. Uh, I'm relieved. Uh, and also I'm, I'm, I'm spiritually fulfilled. And, and I, I'm, I'm not going to look back. I, I'm going to focus on what God has laid to my life and also what the, the prophecy has been uh, laid to my life from God by the man of God. So um, I'm humbled uh, 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 to, to receive that kind of a prophecy on my life that is confirmed for what I've been doing. Because all the things that man of God mentioned to my life is true. Because people get healed, people have been, uh, 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 been delivered. At the end of the day, you don't see the fruits of your hand. But I believe when I lived here, God is going to do the wonders in Bloemfontein, in Free State at large. I, I like to encourage most of the men of God, women of God out there to say, now is the time to look what God has instilled to South Africa. We have our Apostle Makana Nisa from the Charis Missionary Church. That God has bring it to us. It's all about opening your heart. It's all about believing God from what God has laid to our country to say now we humbled ourselves so then God can use us together with him to raise his hand automatically. Your hand will be uplifted also.